Uh, this second story is also about Kyle, so it's called um, The Best, Most Romantic Love Song Ever. I jumped up and down on the small bed in Caitlin's bright yellow bedroom. Do it, she said, handing me the phone. But then he'll know, I said. He already knows. But, but I really like him. Do you think, do you think if I call he'll go out with me? Of course he will, Caitlin said, shoving the phone in my hand. But what, what if he doesn't hear it? I asked her. That was a very good question, considering that boys probably don't listen to the Delilah show. <laughs> Just do it, then I'll call him and tell him to listen. Then he'll have to go out with you. Caitlin was a very demanding best friend, but she always had my best interest at heart, so I took the phone from her and dialed the toll-free number. The phone just beeped. It's busy, I said. Well, duh, she's like the best woman on the planet. Everyone wants to talk to her. Try again. I dialed the number again. This time the phone rang. It rang and rang for endless minutes as the butterflies danced in my stomach and made me want to vomit. Then a voice said, hello, the Delilah show. I froze. What to say now? Could I even say anything? It's the Delilah show. But it just came out. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I, I, I want to, I would like to tell Kyle that I love him and on the show, and I want to dedicate a song to him. Please? How old are you? <laughs> the man on the other end asked. I'm eight. <laughs> I said proudly. One moment, please. Delilah will talk to you shortly. I let out a shriek, and Caitlin pat pressed her ear against, up against mine so she could listen in on the phone. We bounced up and down on the bed, sitting on the edge of her, until finally we heard a voice, her voice, but this time it wasn't coming from the radio. She was on the phone talking to us. We have a special caller on the phone now who wants to dedicate a song to the boy she loves. Hello? Hello? I answer over Caitlin's muffled snickers. Why don't you tell us about this boy, Sarah? Again, I paused. She knew my name. <laughs> Almost without any control at all, I began to blur out everything that I loved about Kyle, from his blonde hair to his blue eyes, to the way he laughed, to how much I imagined him being my boyfriend someday. Occasionally, she would ask me questions, and I would reply, and after what seemed like no time at all, she finally asked me the question, what song would you like to play for Kyle? This was the moment. I had to think of the most romantic song that I could, and then it hit me. My heart will go on. <laughs> because what could be more romantic than Titanic? Thanks.